Hi, I'm Jeff Spira. I've been a boater, fisherman, and sailor my entire life. I've taught seamanship, navigation, and boating safety for the city of Long Beach. One of the things that most fascinated my students was teaching them the ability to predict the weather just by looking at the clouds. I thought I'd make this little multimedia presentation so you can learn this skill too. There are all sorts of different weather patterns possible, but the vast majority fall into two general categories, cold fronts and warm fronts. I'm sure you've seen maps like this, maybe on your TV weather segment of the news. See this line on the weather map here? It represents a cold front, a line with blue triangles pointing in the direction it's moving. A cold front is just a cold air mass pushing warmer air mass away as it advances. This red line with the circular symbols represents a warm front, that is a warm air mass displacing a colder one as it advances. Cold fronts and warm fronts bring sudden weather changes. If there's not a front passing, the weather will likely stay the same as it is now or change very slowly. But if you're out at sea, you need to be able to predict a change in the weather. Will it get better or worse? Reading clouds can tell you what's going to happen. This applies to you landlubbers too. Weather changes on land are just like those at sea. Let's talk first about a cold front, since if you're out at sea, it's the more dangerous of the two. The first indication that the weather pattern is changing is the appearance of cirrus clouds. These are thin, wispy, veil-like clouds that look like this. They're very high up. We can't tell right now what's about to happen, but the appearance of cirrus clouds means something is coming. If the cirrus clouds start to clump together into cirrocumulus clouds that look like this, we can now tell that a cold front is coming. These clouds then begin to move downward and form altocumulus clouds that look something like this. Alto means high, and you can see how these clouds form irregular patterns. The first commercial fishing captain I worked for as a deckhand used to call this a mackerel sky. He'd always say, mackerel sky, rain nearby. The alto cumulus clouds continue to move downward and form cumulus clouds, the white puffy ones. And eventually the cumulus clouds build into nimbo cumulus clouds. Nimbo means rain, and these clouds dump rain. If they build big enough, they're called thunderheads and bring thunder, lightning, high winds, driving precipitation, and hail. This can turn a sea from calm to angry, and pretty quickly too. Okay, let's talk about warm fronts. As I said earlier, these are much less violent events than the cold fronts. The typical winter storms in Southern California are usually warm fronts. Like cold fronts, warm fronts are preceded by the appearance of cirrus clouds. Next, these cirrus clouds start to form high layered clouds called cirrostratus clouds. Stratus means layers. These cirrostratus clouds move along and are replaced by alto stratus clouds, which of course is high layered clouds. Now you should immediately think, aha, a warm front's coming. As the clouds move along, those alto stratus clouds are replaced by regular stratus clouds that get progressively thicker and thicker, and then they turn into nimbo stratus clouds, clouds that deliver rain. Remember, there's all sorts of severity of cold and warm fronts. You can have them so weak they don't even rain, or so strong they can turn into hurricane strength winds and spawn tornadoes and water spouts. It's hard to predict how strong the approaching storm will be, but if you keep your eyes on the clouds, you'll at least know that a storm is coming and what kind of storm to expect. Now you know how to predict the weather just by looking at the clouds. Ever consider building a boat? It's probably a lot easier and less expensive than you might imagine. If this sounds interesting to you, stop by my website and download my free ebook entitled Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Building a Boat. While you're there, take a look at some of the many designs that I offer that can be instantly downloaded from the internet. 
It's at www.spirainternational.com. That's www.spirainternational.com. Thank you.